our district has a subscription to Pear Deck. And that means that we can integrate Pear Deck into Canvas. And there's two different ways you can do that. One is adding it directly as an assignment. And then one is adding it into modules only, not using assignments. So the first one I'm going to show you is how to create an assignment using Pear Deck. And so I'm going to give it a title, this one Pear Deck as an assignment. You can type in any instructions for students up top. I like to use Pear Deck just as a check for understanding and a way to engage students during synchronous class time. So I'm putting zero points. For the submission type, I'm going to choose external tool. I'm going to click on find. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find Pear Deck. I'm going to click on Pear Deck, press select. And then I'm going to continue to scroll down. I need a due date and I'm going to press save. So I'm not publishing it just quite yet. Once I press save, I see Pear Deck kind of embedded into my assignment. I have already connected my Pear Deck account just by the first time you go here, it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account. And so you're going to do that. Um, then I'm going to pre press select a file from Drive. And I already have a Google Slides that I have made a Pear Deck out of. So I am just going to search for the name of it in the title and press on the search bar. And here are the slides that I want to use. I'm going to click on it so it's highlighted kind of in this pale blue, and then press select. There are two options, student pace and instructor pace. Student pace would be students are working at their own pace asynchronously. Instructor pace is the teacher is guiding them through this, so during synchronous class time. And you can switch back and forth between the two at any time. I'm going to choose instructor pace activity for right now. Now it's in my assignment. However, my assignment is not in modules. I want my students to be able, be able to find this in modules, and I also want to publish it since I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to go over to modules. I'm going to click on the plus sign in my module, and I'm going to find the Pear Deck assignment that I just created, where I'm using Pear Deck in a Canvas assignment. I'm going to click on that and add item. And then I can publish it right here by clicking on it till it turns green with the check mark. Then I'm going to click on that assignment. And as I'm viewing this, I'm basically looking at this in the teacher dashboard. I can see my notes pop up. So the notes are what I have in the notes section of my Google Slides. I can click on the X to minimize that. And it shows that I'm presenting this to my students. So imagine that I'm in a Zoom right now and I'm sharing my screen. They see this whole screen. I want this to be bigger for my students. So I'm going to click on the three dots over on the right. And I can make it full screen or I can open it in a projector tab. And for me, I find it's easier to just open the projector in a new tab. And so this would be what I'm sharing my Zoom screen on. And I can go from slide to slide, showing my students different things using this. If I click on the three dots, I can open up the dashboard. And the dashboard is where um, students would see, or sorry, you don't want the students to see the dashboard, because that's where, as a teacher, you will see student names. However, if I'm running this directly from Canvas, like this, this is basically the dashboard view. So that's why I opened it up into presentation screen. And then if I click on those three dots, I can open the dashboard in a new window if you have a second monitor. And so right now you can see my dashboard window. But what I can do is drag it up to the monitor I have up above. And so I could be seeing student names on the screen up above. And the students would just be seeing what I'm projecting right now, what you see on my screen. And so I'm going to go into student view so you can see exactly what the student is seeing. So here is a Canvas course. I'm going to refresh the page. And here's the assignment, Pear Deck as an assignment. The students can find it in their to-do list. That's one of the benefits of adding it as an assignment. They find it not only in modules, but they can find it in their to-do list because there's a due date. And so the student would show how they are feeling.
and they are on slide one out of 32 because as a teacher, I am on slide one out of 32. Notice if I press notes, they pop up here in the teacher screen. Oops, when I am on the student screen, they do not see the notes. Students can click on this blue um, expand button, which they only see when they hover their cursor over the slide, and it makes it a little bit bigger for students to view. But students did not need to type in any code or password or any link. It's just directly in Canvas. As I go through my slides, I'm going to find a slide where students have to answer a question so you can see what that looks like. So here on the teacher screen that I'm presenting, they just see the slide with the question. If I was showing them this in Canvas, they would see the um, dashboard view if I was projecting this. Again, that's the reason why I opened the presentation as a new window. I do have the dashboard open. I'm pulling it down. You can see it's identical. So the dashboard helps because I can have it on a different monitor but I generally don't want students to see that dashboard. Now I'm gonna go over to student view so you can see what the student is looking at. Students will see, and it didn't seem to move, I'm gonna click on the page. Um, that Sometimes students need to click on the page to make it work, to kind of sort of refresh, not really refresh, but kind of refresh the page. So here's the spot where students see the question. So they see the question on the left. Again, they can hover to make it full screen if they need to read it. They click on it again, they see their questions pop up and students can choose an answer. Now on teacher view in Canvas, this is just like the dashboard. So that's why I don't want students to see this because I don't want them to look at my Zoom screen and see the answers pop up. And again, I'm gonna pull down the dashboard that I have up in my other monitor, it's identical. So I like the dashboard on my other monitor, and I like to open from Canvas, open the projector in a new tab. So here is what I'm projecting to students during Zoom. When I want students to see the answers, I'm going to click on Show Responses, and then it opens up full screen, and students can never see other student names, which is nice. If I click on these um, grid layout, I could see kind of this answer and it doesn't tell me who it is. If I pulled down my dashboard right now, I could see that Melissa answered this question. So that's why the dashboard should be out of sight. That's why you should open in a new screen in um, presenter view. If I go back to Canvas, this again, Canvas is just like the dashboard and I don't want students to see any student names. So again, when you're presenting to students, click on the three dots, open projector into a new tab. I can then hide responses. I could go to the next questions. And as I go to the next questions, it goes forward for the students. Now, if I want to switch this into self-paced mode, what I'm going to do is go down to the three dots down at the bottom and I can turn on student paste. And it gives me kind of a warning. I say, okay, got it. Now when I go over to student view, the student can go back and forth and go through whatever slides they want to answer any questions, make any drawings, whatever they need to do, they can do in student paste. And so as a teacher, you can go back and forth between turning on or off student paste. Now, if you're not using this for any sort of points, there is another option to go up to the, um, in Canvas, to go directly into modules. So I'm gonna leave this one that was just running. And in my modules, I don't need to create an assignment first. I can click on the plus, and here where it says add assignment, I can just add an external tool and then go and find Pear Deck, add the item, just like I did in assignments. And here it just marked it as Pear Deck. I'm gonna click on the three dots and I'm gonna edit this and I'm just gonna rename it so it's external tools and modules just so you know the difference when you're looking at this. I'm gonna update, I'm gonna 
not, I'm, well, I could publish it right now, but students, I haven't linked an actual Pear Deck to it. So I need to click on the link. And then I need to select the file from Drive. And I'm adding it in the basically the same way I can do instructor or student paste. Now, the difference with this is it makes the screen a little bit bigger for the teacher. But again, I would always just recommend doing open. Um, let's see, I'm going to open the dashboard in a new window. I can move that up above to my other monitor and then I can make this full screen. When I make this full screen, as I'm going through for students, this works just the way that it does when you're using Google Classroom, or sorry, when you're using Pear Deck outside of Canvas, and I don't have to open it in a new tab like I did before. So open full screen does not show the dashboard. So this makes it a little simpler for the teacher. You don't have to open it in a new window. But I'm going to actually leave that and close that window. So I don't need to open it in a new window when I put it directly into modules. Um, I just have to open the dashboard and put that elsewhere. So full screen just makes it a little bit easier for me to view. On the student end, the student, I'm in the wrong assignment. So I'm in the um, past Pear Deck assignment. So I'm going to go back to modules for my student. And the student cannot find it in home because I just put it as a module. It's not going to be in their to-do list. This was the one that was the assignment because I linked it as an external tool directly into module. The only place a student can find it is here in modules. So it's this one, Pear Deck external tool in modules. They open it up and it's a little bit of a bigger screen, not too much for students. Um, so it basically works the same way for students, whether you're doing it in modules or not, or assignments. Assignments allow it to show up in their to-do list. The biggest difference is for teachers. So as a teacher, you don't have to open up the present view in a new tab. You just need to make it full screen. So there are pros and cons to both of them. You can choose which one works best for you. I did mention that I do not use Pear Deck for a grade. And the, one of the reasons is when you integrate it into Canvas, there's no grades or answers that get passed into Canvas. So this should just be for more formative assessment where you can see results and discuss with students live in real time or talk about afterwards if you did it asynchronously. But for grades, it's, it's just mainly for engagement and formative assessment. So grades do not get carried in. If you want to give students points for it, you could create an assignment, but you would have to um, name the session when you're done and you would get like individual docs for all of your students and really it's not worth grading because it's going to be so much work on your end. So again, the best way to look at this is when you are in the teacher dashboard, you can go through and kind of see um, how students did on each of these and you can see what student responses were, but it's not something that is easily gradable. It's not going to go into Speed Grader or into the Canvas Gradebook.